Hey guys, I wanted to give a quick update um, to you guys about the CFM real quick. First and foremost, I need to have your cell phone numbers. So if you have not texted me, I want you to do that right now. My number is 812-216-3644. If I don't have everybody's cell phone numbers, um, by the end of the evening tonight, I'm going to have to start mess or uh, banning you guys from the league. Here's the bottom line. I've got about 50 people that have texted me personally today asking to join the CFM, so I have no problem replacing you, and I don't want to be that guy because I do believe in the people that we have put in this league, but I just want you to know that I literally, I, I don't need you to be in the league. I want you to be in the league, and I want this to be a good experience for everybody. Uh, we're looking at starting Xbox leagues, and we may even start another PlayStation league, but really quickly before we move on from that, I just want want you to know that this is no BS, no no craziness, um, no none of that. We're not going to deal with drama. We're not going to deal with that stuff. Um, it's just going to be a, a very simple policy. Uh, be a good member. That's the bottom line. I wanted to go over one or two things that I got. I got a couple suggestions from players, and I want you to know that I am taking suggestions. So one of the first things I want to show you here is in the league settings. Um, I just want to show you this really, really quickly. We're on all Madden. We're playing competitive mode. Trades are only going to be enabled through the human trades. There is a trade deadline. I want you to also know really quickly here that with the uh, practice, squad, practice squad stealing, we've turned that off. Second thing I want you to know is we have increased the time limit of the games. We're going to go six-minute quarters. Um, a lot of you guys are wanting that feedback, so we are going to do that. And then last but not least, I just did wanted to cover one thing really quickly, and I am investigating. There's two things I'm investigating into right now, and then once your feedback on it, you can text me if you have opinions um, or let me know what you think. It's, I'm not going to do whatever everyone says, um, and we're not going to operate that way, but I am listening to your feedback, and I want you to know that I want you to hear that loud and clear from me here today so um really quickly uh, i did want to cover one thing before i go back to that make sure your games are uh played by friday at midnight the the, the week will be simmed at friday at midnight um make sure that you're responding to your opponent within four, within 24 hours a 24-hour response policy no questions asked we're going to use that private discord if you need an invite to the discord just text me my number's right there. Literally, that's my personal cell phone number. There's no games about that. So if you ever need to get a hold of me, that's the way that I operate. Um, but I do want you to know we are advancing every 48 hours. We do have a 24-hour policy. Make sure that you are responding to your opponent within 24 hours. Um, and primarily, if you're, if you're primarily, what I would encourage you to do is just exchange cell phone numbers with your opponent. I think that's going to be the easiest. Um, but if you guys don't feel comfortable with that, use the Discord. That's fine. It's not a big deal either way. But make sure I do need your cell phone numbers if you're going to participate in the league. Because if you're not, for whatever reason, being responsive, I need to be able to get a hold of you and understand why you're not being responsive. So I just want to make that clear. Um, but there's two things I wanted to let you know, and I, I want you to give me, send me your feedback on this because, again, I'm committed to listening and to being an advocate for you guys and to leading the community in a way that we're working together because I don't know everything there is to know about CFM. That's probably very obvious to you guys. So I want to listen to you guys. Some of you guys have been playing in CFMs for a long time. Here's the bottom line. Um, there's a couple things that we're looking at. The first thing is we're looking at can you swap positions, can you not swap positions. Here's what I'm going to say. For right now, I want you guys to operate under this policy, and this is subject to change, so just be able to be on the lookout for the channel. We'll, we'll give you updates um, like this pretty much every day um, or as we need to. I want to pull up this message I got about this so real quickly. So for the positional changes, here's the thing that we're trying to deal with. What we don't want is we don't want any cheese. And by what, what I mean by any cheese, we don't want people trying to glitch the game. Now, I'm a competitive guy. I don't believe that there's such thing as, as glitches. There's a couple of things that are glitches. But for the most part, I don't really feel like there's a ton of glitches, um, at least in my opinion, that are like overpowered or whatever, right? So you can run quarterback draw or you could run um, you know, QB power or whatever, right? I don't care about that. What I'm, what I'm trying to get you to understand here is as far as positional changes, what we're not going to allow right now is we're not going to allow unreasonable changes. For example, if you are going to put a, um, you're not going to be allowed to change a quarterback to a running back. Just not right now. We're not going to allow that. Um, you're not going to be allowed to change a wide receiver to an offensive tackle, right? That, that doesn't make any sense. 
But what you can do is you can change defensive ends to defensive tackles or defensive tackles to defensive ends. You can change inside linebackers to outside linebackers. You can change corners to safeties uh, and vice versa. So I just want you to hear that loud and clear. Uh, and then one last thing I did want to say here about the uh, position uh, position changes. Let me pull that up really quickly. Let me see if I can find it here for you. Um, you cannot change the player's position over and over again to boost your X XP. Um, I, I really just don't think that's a big deal. And I don't want us to re-roll abilities every week. So, um, so, so basically, um, don't move the same player positions multiple times in a week. Okay, you can change one. You can change a player's position, but if you change a position the next week and the next week and the next week, we're gonna know something's up. And I want you to know that we have about seven members of our CFM that are monitoring you guys closely. So please, please, please don't make me be the bad guy. I like I said, I've got about 50 people right now that are on standby that want in this league that have privately messaged me, privately texted me, privately called me, wanting invites into the league because they like what we're doing. So um, I have no problem replacing you. All right, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to do that, and I really am committed to trying not to do that. But I'm also not going to put up with any nonsense here. Uh, again, this is fun. This is uh, a community of people. We are playing for money, but we can stop playing for money about you know very very simply. And I could refund everybody. We can shut the league down. It's not that hard to do that. So I just want you to be aware of that. This is supposed to be fun, and let's keep it that way. So we are looking at we are looking though into the positional. Um, we are looking at um, into the positional changes, though, for you guys to see if that's something we're going to allow in the future because it actually is something very interesting to me. And so just let me dig into that. i got a couple of guys that have a lot of experience in CFMs that I'm going to seek their counsel and seek their advice on as far as if we should allow that or not. The second thing is I encourage you to devour any material you can on YouTube about how to improve as a player. I think that's a natural thing to do. But the third thing, and the, one of the other ideas that we have, one of the other things that we're looking at is should we allow, um, because things, because I personally made a mistake with the draft last night, I accidentally auto sim some of the later picks, could, should we allow legend players to basically come in? So basically every team would get one legend of their team on offense and one legend of their team on defense. Basically one legend of their choice on either side of the ball. And we are looking into allowing something like that. If you would like that, let me know. If you would not like that, let me know. And we'll look into that feedback. But right now, we're going to hold on that idea. I like the idea and concept. I just want to dig into a little bit more. So we're going to hold on that for week one, but that might be something we implement in week two. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. Like I said, we are committed to this CFM being a fun place, and I just want to ask for your guys' grace, for your help, as we continue to work through this together. And uh, I think this can be something really, really cool. So let's just continue to uh, operate that way. Be responsive to your opponents. And like I said, you know, any BS, uh, we do have people that are willing to jump in and, and take your spot. We'll work on getting a written copy of everything for you guys uh, so that you could have access to that. But for right now, we're going to do most of it through video. That's just better for me right now. Um, and, and, you know, I'm in charge, so I get to say that. Um, that's one of the few times I get to operate that way. So, anyways, guys, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Get your game one games in. Also, we will have a weekly show where we talk about some of these things. Um, where we talk about the league and how things are going and share some insight into that. If you have more players that you know that want to play in the league, please let me know because we're building our wait list up right now. We may potentially start a second one. And then also if you know of Xbox players, we are looking to start an Xbox league as well. So please text me if you have anybody that you know of that would like to play. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. We'll see you on the sticks.